Hello and welcome back to another stream. We've got a special one for you today because we are playing the free version of this game, Black Ops 2. I think you may have heard of it once or twice because um, Steam is offering a free multiplayer weekend. And uh, as of now, I'm playing against bots because I do not really want to go into the online community. Also, I just want to um, get used to the controls before I get completely sidelined by a lot of people at the same time, which is probably going to be immensely frustrating. So, we've picked a random map, just built a loadout from scratch. There's quite a few things that you can do for loadouts, although I'm not entirely certain if I should explain the game at all. There, that guy got me. Well, guy. It's an all-bot match. So they're not really guys, more just trained AIs, which is always a good addition. I know a lot of competitive players will not think so, of course, because they enjoy playing with people, which you should if you're on a competitive level. But since I am not, I enjoy bot play in any game, well, any shooter game. Go away here, stay out of immediate open spaces since I have a short range weapon. Also, many, well, from what I understand, this is all hearsay from not playing it but hearing from other people. People do not enjoy or at least do not condone the use of the target finder that I'm playing with right now but I find it to be extremely helpful and if it's in the game then why not use it. That was a large fight that I lost. What a shame. Okay. So, once more I'm streaming this with a new headset. Oop. To test out its sound. If the sounds are crappy, well, then it'll just be for a while. That guy got hit by my grenade, which is cool. Okay, oh, no, no, okay. I thought there would be more. Oh. I seem to have misplaced my reload button. Well, we won't reload for now. I don't really want to go through all that trouble right now while I'm recording. So, again, what I take from the game so far, from the few seconds of experience that I have for it, is that it's a very fast-paced game, which is probably why it's so well-liked. There's a constant stimulation for players. As you see, maps are really short, confined, so you can run into a firefight just about any second of the game, I'm gonna run away here. It's not gonna be safe. Be advised, has been destroyed. UAV awaiting orders. Oh, need to run away. Heavily outnumbered there. I got me good. So in an arcadey sense, it's certainly enjoyable. I also don't know, well, it's not... As with any popular game, the opinions are more extreme than others, but I find it to be a very well-designed game. That's what it's supposed to be for that amount of resources that go into it.
it's obviously not the best ever made. Well, that depends on the genre you enjoy the most. UAV on standby. But it's certainly a good game. At least I think so. At least it's not as horrible as everybody keeps saying. Wah, wah, wah. COD, very bad. Enjoy a real game, yada yada. I understand the fleeting factor of it. It is, as I say, since it's very arcadey, it's very instant based. It's also instantly forgotten. Meaning you can pick it up and play and then forget about it for a whole while. Um, balls, I forgot how to do my special strikes. Those incentives that I get for killing a lot of people and such. No idea. Completely forgot. Oh. But I did it. Sales, your mission directive has been achieved. That was one quick round of Black Ops, something you've probably seen a million times before. If not, then you've seen it from the perspective of somebody who hasn't played it or any recent Call of Duty game. That was just a first attempt here. Didn't even do better than just a random boss.